Hello. Today is somewhat of a math focused day. I wanted to really place emphasis on how information is presented because people learn differently, people see things differently, we internalize things differently. As an elementary school teacher, we are somewhat obsessed with patterns, shapes, and symbols. So here's a pattern of dots and the symbol, the way these dots are placed, my brain automatically recognizes this as three. I don't have to count one, two, three. My brain knows it's become second nature. If I hold the dots this way, again, I know three. I don't have to count. Six, two, three, five, six, four, one. This shape is a 3D object. It's a cube. The dots are symbols on the object. Shapes are not limited to squares, circles, triangles, stars. Shapes are also letters and numbers. Shapes, for example, when I put a bunch of letters together, that creates another shape called a word. When I put words together, that creates another shape called a sentence. When I put a bunch of sentences together, I create a shape called a paragraph. So patterns, repeating patterns, it's giving part of my brain to think and then to look ahead and, and think what's coming next. So my brain is multitasking. It's taking information and registering it, and it's taking a sneak peek at what's coming ahead and processing it. I'm going to use 4 divided by 8 just to make a point. I never get to use yellow because it's hard to see, so let's just have some fun with yellow for a moment. Just to divide up my paper here. All right. <laughs> Let me start with the color green, so I might have 4 divided by 8 equals. What that's asking me, how many times does 4 go into 8? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. How many groups of 4 can I make with those 8 dots? Well, immediately, my brain is doing this. look familiar? My brain recognized four dots, a repeating pattern. There's another four dots. I didn't have to count one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. My brain knew four, four. And of course that comes with practice. It's become second nature. So I have one, two groups, four divided by eight equals two. Let me do another example. 4 divided by 8 equals. How many times does 4 go into 8? How many groups of 4 can I make? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Maybe my brain is doing this. I still have one group, two groups, supported by, did by 8 equals 2. Look familiar? It's a repeating pattern, two, 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 two. Whether I'm conscious of it or not, what my brain was doing was going two, four. Oh, two, four. Another example. Four divided by eight equals one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Maybe my brain will do this. One, two, two groups. All of these are the same answer. 
the information is just being presented differently. And again, it's this repeating pattern, 2, 4, 2, 4. I didn't have to count 1, 2, 3, 4. I knew. Two dots like that, 2. And there's another 2. 2 plus 2 is 4. One more example for you. 4 divided by 8 equals 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. 4 and 4. Two groups. This time, the dots are like this. My brain knew 2. I didn't have to count 1, 2. 2, 4, 2, 4. And I circled it. I hope that helped you realize visually how people might need to see things. I created a booklet just to have in the classroom. Maybe you can jumbo size one. Um, it's handy for a resource to have for review. So 4 divided by 8. There's one way I can show it. There's another way I can show it. How else can I show off to my teacher how I know things? Hey, I can put hearts instead of dots. In this case, I put cat faces. And I used words to express myself. 4 divided by 8 equals 2. I know 4 divides into 8 because... There are two groups of four, and there's pretend me, I'm saying cool. I like when students put pretend Miss Casella in their work. I like it when the students have a pretend version of themselves. Sometimes it's another cat, sometimes it's a dog, sometimes it's a tree, and sometimes it's like an alien looking figure, and sometimes it's just a picture of them like a human. Here's another example where I have lily pads, so I have a frog friend, one, two, three, four hops, and here's Miss Casella trying it as well. This sign here is a fancy design representing division, and I have steps. Step one, four divided by eight equals two. Step two, place the two on top of the eight. Step 3, 4 times 2 equals 8. Step 4, place 8 under the 8. Step 5, 8 minus 8 equals 0. I hope that helps you with some insight, and we'll see you next time.